the right initiative to have a debate and discussion on an issue of paramount national importance, the Baloch missing persons. So today is the first day of the new year. And uh, I would just like to mention that uh, I was last week in Tehran for the International Conference on Palestine, and we expressed full support and solidarity with the people of Palestine. And I salute the heroic Palestinian Mujahideen under the leadership of Hamas, which is a democratically elected organization of the people of Gaza for resisting the Israeli repression at the very heavy cost. 25,000 children, women, and men have been martyred. 53,000 have been uh, wounded, but they are still resisting because the myth of Israeli invincibility has been shattered totally. And Israel has been exposed as an occupier state similar to Indian occupation of uh, Kashmir. Sir, uh, I would like to mention here that uh, when I went last week to the Baloch protesters camp, it was a very painful sight. It was very unfortunate that citizens of Pakistan, the women of Pakistan, the children of Pakistan, from Khuzdar, from Turbat, from Gawadar, they have come here seeking redressal of wrongs. If somebody has committed a crime, that person should be charged, brought before a court of law, tried, and if there's evidence, punished. If there's no evidence, freed. But this practice of enforced disappearances is not acceptable because human rights and democracy is part of the Pakistani DNA. So the great leader, Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, when he was a member of the Imperial Legislative Council, he spoke up for the human rights of Bhagat Singh, from whom the British had termed as a terrorist. But he said, Bhagat Singh has human rights, and he defended him in the parliament. And here we are seeing this thing. So I feel that uh, Kamran Mursa Saab, myself, we were part of the Islamabad High Court Commission on Missing Persons under the leadership of Akhtar Mengal Saab. We demand that the report be published and the report be implemented by the government in letter and spirit. I'm glad the Minister for Parliamentary Affairs is here, and I think the report will show that rule of law must prevail in Pakistan. Otherwise, you know, uh, uh, it will become the law of the jungle, and let us not make Pakistan a lawless republic of the fair. One last word, sir, I'd like to say that uh, I endorse what has been said by my colleague, Senator Ghaffar Mamant, and I think that uh, the kind of elections should not be what happened in 2018. 2018, it was election was manipulated, engineered uh, by the intelligence services and the security services. RTS was uh, uh, finished at 11.47. And if we have to move forward, that kind of process should not be repeated here. I think the mass rejection of uh, papers of the PTI candidates is detrimental to democracy. It will weaken the federation because political parties, whether PMLN, PPP, PTI, or National Party, ANP, all of the parties, or even BAPSA, of which you are the worthy, uh, uh, I think, guru-in-chief, uh, that parties, they are parties which are uh, factors for national unity. And if you weaken political parties, you weaken the federation. And I think we should have an election which is fair and free. And let Thank us not you. repeat old mistakes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Honorable